Salutations, friends. It's your pal, said Stevie, and today I'm going to be taking a closer look at a couple of knives from a manufacturer that I don't have a lot of experience with. Uh, from Miguron, we have the Takag and the Korakai 2. I think I'm pronouncing those right. Uh, I recently unboxed these. I gave a first impression during my last uh, Ramblin' from the Woods. Uh, it will be linked right there. Uh, these were sent over by Lefty EDC. Uh, Kevin put a little pass-around group together. Uh, so shout-out to Kevin. I uh, appreciate being able to be a part of that so I can check out uh, more knives. So uh, we have opposite ends of the spectrum here from Miguron. Uh, we got a budget offering and a more premium offering. Uh, let's take a look at the Takag first. So... Uh, comes in this very basic uh, box here. No frills, no gimmicks, no wiping cloth or anything. Uh, we got an overall length of 6.77 on the Takag. Uh, that's a 3-inch draw point style blade sporting a nice hollow grind on this 14C28N uh, blade. Stone wash, satin flats. You see a, a single thumb stud there. Uh, moving on to the handle, uh, which is roughly about four inches, uh, you see a captured uh, logoed uh, pivot there. G10 uh, for the scales. Uh, G10 is not bad. Uh, it's pretty grippy. Uh, nice uh, T8 flush fitting uh, body screws. A, a G10 backspacer. A non-reversible, uh, fairly deep carry steel pocket clip. T8 on the uh, pivot screw uh, with what looks like a, to be a brass uh, collar. And then you see 14C28N uh, there. Uh, I really dig uh, this blade shape. Uh, this is a steel uh, liner lock. Uh, Lockup is pretty solid. It's riding on cage ceramic bearings. Uh, you do have uh, pretty solid uh, action. On this, uh, it came completely centered. As I mentioned, it has a single, th a single, a single thumb stud uh, for deployment, and then you also have a, a top flipper here, front flipper, uh, with some uh, good jimping. Uh, detent is dialed in for both uh, deployments uh, for sure. Uh, the jimping uh, it gets a little aggressive if you're using the edge of your finger there to uh, front flip it. But I would say that uh, it's good to go. Um, very thick uh, blade stock. I don't have that spec in front of me, but um, no jimping up there at all. Uh, don't really feel like you need it. Uh, and despite this being a smaller knife, uh, the ergos are pretty dang good. Uh, it's thicker than a snicker for sure. Uh, I don't have my calipers or uh, have that spec in front of me, but it's definitely a uh, thick feeling in hand. Uh, I feel the pocket clip, but I'm not going to say that that's a hot spot. Uh, it feels pretty dang good. Uh, I really dig this, uh, this drop point blade. Um, uh, the uh, action and lockup and all that, as I mentioned, is good. No side to side, no up and down. Um, sometimes on a more budget, uh, option, you can get some, uh, lower tolerances. That's not the case on this. And, uh, the blade, uh, seems, uh, pretty sharp. Well, there we go. You know, it's cutting paper. So, uh, that's a good, uh, sign, right? So, yeah, uh, not bad. A uh, couple of uh, nitpicks that I have. Uh, again, you have that single. God, it sounds like I'm doing that on purpose. The th single thumb stud for deployment. Uh, I think that should be a dual thumb stud. I think I'd like it a little bit more if it did. Uh, and then this pocket clip, uh, despite it being uh, fairly deep carry and going in and out of pocket just fine. My two pet peeves. It's not recessed into the scale. And they used T6 button head style uh, screws on there. Uh, so a couple of little nitpicks. But uh, considering that this knife is being listed on White Mountain Knives for only $39.96, I could live with those couple of nitpicks. Uh, so if you use uh, 
ten uh, percent uh, discount code, like said ten or Stevie ten. It'll be linked in the description either way. Uh, you get ten uh, percent off plus free shipping on White Mountain knives. Uh, this is a very affordable knife uh, for forty bucks. Um, I can live with the single thumb stud. Did I say that right? I did. I'm in my head sometimes with that. Uh, and the uh, pocket clip. Not bad at all. Uh, in other budget uh, options in that price point, you got something like the uh, Kube Momentum, uh, which was my budget knife of the year uh, last year. Great budget knife. You got the Best Tech Dundee on a very similar price point. But right now, I got to say, uh, this might be a budget knife of the year uh, contender for me, uh, depending on what else I handle this year. Um, I got no uh, no qualms with this knife uh, for 40 bucks. Uh, not bad at all. Uh, moving on to the other end of the spectrum, uh, the Korakai 2. So uh, it did come in a little bit more premium of a box. Uh, you do get a, a wiping cloth in there. Um, Again, very basic here. But uh, now we are looking at a, uh, a handle length of 4.4 inch and a blade length of 3.25. This is a full flat grind, uh, sandblasted uh, drop point style blade uh, with a nice crowned uh, spine. M390 on the blade steel. Uh, you see that same captured uh, logoed uh, Migron uh, show side pivot there and then titanium scales that have been uh, knurled or uh, milled to kind of mimic G10 uh, I gotta say uh, I, I'm really digging the way they did this uh, the scales on this a couple of whoa, where to go there I'm back uh, a couple of T8 uh, body screws uh, matching uh, titanium backspacer non-reversible uh, deep fairly deep carry uh, pocket clip i do like the uh, pocket clip uh, screw is on the back side um i'll get into uh, the pocket clip a little bit more uh in just a moment uh the you have another single uh, t8 body screw uh a t8 pivot screw with a nice uh, pivot collar on there and then you see m390 on the blade steel Titanium frame lock, uh, lockup seems pretty solid. Uh, just like uh, easy access on there, uh, you got pretty easy access to the lock bar. Uh, I'd like to see a little bit of jimping on there. It's a little slick, but uh, the access is uh, good to go. Um, writing on ceramic bearings, the uh, blade is completely centered. And on this, we have a front flipper for deployment only. Uh, you get a little bit of uh, jimping there. It's not great jimping, but it works. Uh, and that is the only form of deployment. And I got to say, the detent is a little soft. However, uh, I think it's dialed right for it being a front flipper only. Uh, it's very easy to deploy. Uh, so um, I think I was able to shake this out. Yes. I can shake it out, uh, however, um, I think if it's going to be a front flipper only, uh, you have to have a little bit softer of a detent. Uh, no uh, blade play in this uh, whatsoever either. Uh, ergos are pretty good on this as well. Uh, no, uh, that's not really a usable finger choil, but you kind of got this little flat there because of no uh, flipper tab. Uh, so you can write up if you need to. No jumping at all, but uh, this feels good in hand. Uh, again, you feel the pocket clip, but uh, it's not bad. And I really like that texturing. Um, what else uh, about this knife? Uh, what I was... Oh, uh, it is uh, sharp as well. Oh, man, did I just kick my camera? I did. I just kicked the camera. Bear with me, folks. Bear with me. Ah. Oh. Okay, I had not checked the uh, edge on uh, this knife at all yet, so you're going to see this for the first time as I am. Okay. All right. Well, nice. Uh, we got two sharp edges out of the box from uh, Migron, so that's good. 
Uh, I was saying, I think, about the Ergos. Uh, everything is good to go here. Feel the pocket clip, uh, but it's not bad at all. Um, this knife uh, at 100 in... What was it on White Mountain Knives? Let's see here. Uh, it is... $198. Uh, this version is sold out, uh, but you got a couple of other uh, variants, a gray one and a deeper blue one. Uh, so, or excuse me, I'm sorry, a hundred and what did I say? $189. So with 10% off, uh, you're bringing it down to about $172 ish. Not bad for uh, titanium and uh, M390. I gotta say, uh, I don't know, uh, they listed their HRCs, but I think it said 59 to 61 on the HRC for the M390. Don't have any experiences with uh, M390 from Migron, so don't know uh, long term uh, how that's going to turn out. But uh, one thing uh, I did say during my first impressions is this gave me Ferrum Forge exec vibes. And, uh, until just a few moments ago, um, I wanted to, uh, do a, a little comparison. Uh, so I went and got my Ferrum Forge exec and let's see how close it is. So here is the Ferrum Forge, uh, exec and, uh, okay. I guess it's close enough to say vibes, but, uh, and I'm not trying to say that it's, they're copying Ferrum Forge uh, by any means. It just gave me those vibes. I guess uh, not so much. You got a little bit uh, taller of a blade with a little bit more belly there. Um, and of course, you know, this is a front flipper only. This is a uh, uh, back flipper only. So, yeah, I'd say that they're fairly close. Uh, enough, again, enough to say that there's definite vibes going on. But uh, I just thought I'd check that. Um, while I was doing this uh, here video, but uh, for 190 bucks, 189 bucks, um, this ain't bad. Uh, I don't think that this is something that I would pick up uh, just because I got enough knives like this. Uh, but it's a nice little uh, gentlemanly uh, carry. Um, oh, let me back up. I do have uh, two nitpicks to go over on this one. Uh, again, smaller, but uh, I was going to talk about the pocket clip. Uh, as much as I like that pocket clip, there's a little too much. Um, it goes in and out of pocket just fine, but there's like no retention at all. You, It just slides right out. So, uh, I mean, a little nitpick. Again, goes in and out just fine, but it doesn't grab onto anything. It's a little too springy. I think it needs to be a little stiffer uh, for it to be a, a good functioning pocket clip, but not bad. Uh, and then I guess the fact that it is a front flipper only. I just lost again. Went out. What am, where am I? I'm glitching, guys and gals. Uh, but uh, I need more than just a front flipper. I love a front flipper, but give me uh, a, a little fuller in there so I can flick it out. Or give me a uh, back flipper also, which I think could have been uh, done pretty well. Uh, but I need a little bit more uh, uh, than just a front flipper only. But I think it's a good uh, little gentleman's league carry. Uh, not too shabby. So uh, I got to say, of the two, I'm digging the... Uh, if I'm going to recommend knives... I gotta say, I feel more comfortable recommending the Takag than I do the, uh, what was this, the Korakai 2? Uh, not a bad knife by any means. Um, if it's checking your boxes and this is something that uh, you think you might like, it's a decent knife. Um, for 189 bucks, uh, there's a lot out there in that price point. Uh, but again, not bad. But uh, I have no problems recommending the uh, Dakog here. I think that uh, a lot of people are going to like this. And I know that there's another one that Big Guron recently did. Uh, that's, I think that's like a $50 knife. Maybe a little bit cheaper. It's got a hole in the blade. I don't know. I am going to be part of a newer upcoming Big Guron pass around group. So I think that might be a knife that I'll be getting to check out here before too long. But... I gotta say, uh, for my first go-around with Miguron, um, I know that uh, 
I'm new to Miguron. Y'all folks probably aren't. I know the Valona, right? Is it the Miguron Valona? That's a pretty popular uh, Miguron. I've just never had any experience with them. Uh, but uh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Um, I, I gotta say, uh, good first impressions. I don't know what the rest of their lineups are like, but... Uh, if these two are any uh, indication of what they're capable of, uh, they probably are doing pretty good. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, are you uh, into Miguron? Do you have other models? Uh, what's your feedback on them? Uh, any models I should be looking out for uh, to maybe get my hands on and check out? Uh, but that's all I got for you today, folks. Uh, appreciate you uh, tuning in. Uh, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Got a plane flying overhead. And if you have not already, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel and checking out that video uh, right there. And until the next one, I bid you mofos what this is. Can't find my cursor. Where is it? Bye-bye.